to Thailand, which is on alert following the outbreak of African swine fever in neighboring Vietnam. The government estimates that possible economic losses could hit $2.2 billion. That's if 30% of the pigs in the country are infected. Senior correspondent for Indochina, Mei Wang, reports. Business as usual. Thai consumers continue to buy their pork in the country. That's because the swine fever hasn't hit the pigs in Thailand and most of the hogs are bred locally. But it's worrying some Thai pig breeders because the government warns that the disease is continuing to spread in countries like China, Vietnam and Cambodia. It's worry because we, we have seen uh, from the damages from, from, from another country when, when the, the disease get, get infected, right? So, and, and we, we know it's a, it uh, will impact us a lot if, 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 if we get infected, right? And, and maybe we have to uh, like a get damages more than 50% from, from our pig if the pig get infected. So we, we have to do everything as we, we can do to, to protect this. If the Thailand get African swine fever, it will be impact more, more, than, more than another disease. Uh -huh. because, because this like a, this one has no vaccine yet, right? And compared to another one for food and mouth disease, uh, it has vaccine. So they can, uh, they can limit the damage. Thailand produces about 26 million hogs and it's looking to be an attractive market because of the higher demand from neighboring countries. If uh, we have no virus, we can export the pork to another country like China or Vietnam also or Cambodia. Right now we double the ex export to, to Cambodia, right, because we are virus free, right. And, and, and also the price in, in, in the country is, 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 is quite high if you compare with, with the previous year because of this. Right now, we sell the pig to Cambodia to uh, uh, around 2,000 2, pigs a day. Uh -huh. But in the previous day, we sell only maybe 1,000 pigs a day. It, it doubled. To ensure the pigs are virus-free, Thailand has introduced many preventive measures such as erecting disinfectant sites at the border checkpoints and increasing inspections on pork products brought into the country. But if the swine fever does enter the country, it would be through illegal means. นะครับเพราะฉะนั้นเนี่ยความเป็นญาติพี่น้องเป็นครอบครัวก็จะมีการไปมาหาสู่แล้วก็จะมีการนํามาฝากกันบ้างอะไรบ้างการติดเชื้